Welcome into all things LA real estate. My name is PK No, and I am running point on this channel. This is your Montecito Heights July real estate update. Montecito Heights, sneaky little neighborhood, sits just south of Mount Washington on the east side here. Pretty comfortable spot, a lot of neighborhoods, some availabilities here. We're going to get into the current numbers. We'll look at some month over month stats. So if you're somebody who's looking in the area, I'm gonna give you some perspective as far as how things are panning out for this month. We'll do some year over year stats so you can see how it compares to last year. Last segment, we'll get into a few homes that have caught my eye where I can look for some value out in the market if you're looking right now. Because if you're gonna buy a house at 7% interest rates, you need to be finding homes that have potential to not only appreciate, but also good value. Let's go. All right, so what's happening out in Montecito Heights? Smaller neighborhoods, so don't get underwhelmed by the numbers not being through the roof, but we only got five homes available for sale currently on the market. The low end, the entry level position right now is at 799,900, so just under 800K gets you into the neighborhood. The top end, 1.788 million. We will definitely touch on that home in the last section about homes that have caught my eye. That puts our average list price right now at 1.126580, so a little over 1.1 million. Average days on the market right now in Montecito Heights is 30, which is pretty low in comparison to the other neighborhoods on the east side. Homes have been just sitting right around a month. What does that tell me? That tells me you might not have a lot of desperate sellers just yet, when it comes to selling their homes. So I'm still trying to make sure I tread that those waters lightly, especially currently with the affordability in the market. If we're gonna look at July of 2022, we had seven homes sell at 116% clip, meaning 16% over list price. For any type of healthy market in 2022, we're seeing 15, 20% over that list price. Those numbers are not reflective of what's happening in 2023. We will obviously not get the seven homes sold this month to match last year's mark because we don't even have seven homes available for sale. But if you are somebody who's looking, most important segment is the next one where we look at last month. Last month in Montecito Heights, not great. One home sold at 91% clip, meaning it sold 9% under the list price, meaning that seller was not doing good. The, the home sold for $815,000, so that's the maximum, that's the minimum, that's the average. This home was on the market for 291 days. It's no wonder it sold 9% under the list price. It's because when a seller is trying to sell their home and it takes them nearly a year, you got issues. You're not marketing the house. You're mispricing the house. The house is not doing the simple upgrades you can do to make it more attractive. There is something going on, but at least they finally got it off their hands. They got $815,000 in their pocket and they've moved on. If we look back to June of 2022, only two homes sold in Montecito Heights at 118% clip, right? 18% over the list price. Montecito Heights was healthy in 2022. We're just really hurting on the inventory side. Those with very nice homes are probably prepping for the lower interest rates and the opportunity to sell there. It's a 50% decline year over year. Not gonna freak out about that because of the small sample size, but we need to get the inventory back. Not gonna happen until interest rates start to drop. If you're somebody who's a homeowner in Montecito Heights and you're wondering, man, I wanna sell my house, but I cannot sell my 4.5% interest rate or whatever it is and jump into a 7% interest rate. Here's what I would do. I would get with an agent right now, right? And you want to tell them, hey, we want to get into the market when things start to turn, when appreciation starts jumping, when houses start selling over that list price, and when I can comfortably make the move from the house I'm in to the next house I want to go to. But you cannot wait till that starts to happen because you'll be late to the party. You want to have that house on the market when the interest rates drop to five and a half, drop to five, buyers flush the market, list price go through the roof like they did in 2022, especially like they did in 2021. And that's when you make the move. If you're a buyer, tread lightly, smart offers, get with an agent who knows something about finance, who knows something about the market because you have to. 
you have to get in a house that is going to appreciate and that can be tough to do but montecito heights has historically shown that it's possible let's jump over a few houses that have caught my eye so i can tell you where i think there might be some value all right homes that have caught my eye we're going to do entry level so you can see what it looks like to get into the neighborhood at the minimum price we're going to talk about my favorite house whether that's value aesthetics whatever the aspect is that attracts me to this house we'll get into that and i'll also touch base in the top end so you can see what the top of the market looks like see where the potential goes see what it looks like if you want to be the top dog in your neighborhood so starting off entry level 4115 supreme court two bedrooms one bath just under 800 square feet at 792 the house is on sale for 799,900, so just under 800k you see the court when it comes to the street name that means it's in a cul-de-sac if you have a family if you have kids it's always better to be in cul-de-sac less traffic less traction less crime the whole nine yards so that's an attractive aspect to it with this house one thing that jumps out the book i'm all about the numbers i'm about the foundation and the finances of the home that's what i care about this house is a thousand and nine dollars per square foot that is extremely high, extremely high for a low-end house. I fully anticipate a price drop on this house. So I'm starring it. I'm maybe putting an offer below list price, but I'm definitely keeping my eye on it because I think they're going to have to come down on that price. Let's get into my favorite play. It's 4409 Bernice Avenue. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath, 1,676 square feet. It's listed for just under a million at 995,000. Built in 1915, it's a craftsman home. Here's a comparison for you. Per square foot, $593. Like I said, the low end was 1,009. This one is almost $500 cheaper per square foot. It's a duplex. So it has an ADU opportunity in the back, which gives you an opportunity to possibly go out and put somebody in the back and help pay down that mortgage. The ADU, ADU does need a little bit of TLC, so you might need to put a few bucks in here and there to spruce it up a little bit to raise the rent on it. Nice little porch on the main home. Here's what's super attractive about this. As we've seen a transgression in the east side over the past decade, where our neighborhoods are becoming more popular, when they blow up, the house prices blow up and it continues to move as less you know, land in Los Angeles becomes available. So Silver Lake was the first one to go went and blew up. Echo Park got a piece of that. Highland Park became a very popular spot. Atwater, Eagle Walk, Mount Washington, obviously Pasadena has always been a popular spot. And this home sits right on the edge of South Pass and Mount Washington. And as homes continue to appreciate in those neighborhoods, it tends to leak around. So there is opportunity for this house to not only be good value, not only give you a chance to have an ADU in the back to help pay down your mortgage, to help make things easier for you in the long run, but it also has some serious potential of appreciation over time. Maybe this house can get up to 1.1, 1.2, and then the spike of lower interest rates, who knows? And that's what you have to have. If you're gonna be buying a house at 7%, you have to have a house that has potential to grow in appreciation because if your house is not appreciating, it is very risky to be paying a 7% interest rate year over year until rates drop, which we don't know when that's gonna be. So let's jump to the top end. It's 3945 Evadale Drive, two bedrooms, three baths, 1,830 square feet. Like I said earlier in the video, it's listed for 1.788 million. Great aspect on this home is it's just built. 2023, you don't get a lot of new builds here in Los Angeles. So you get in a new build, you're more confident about the foundation, about the home. It's usually, you know, updated and looks nice. That's all great. Good lot size here, over 8,800 on the lot size. Love that. Great views, very smooth house. It's been on the market for 84 days. So we are pushing three months. When you're a builder, you build a new home, you do not want stagnant time you know because if you're a home owner and you live in this home and you sit for three months at least you're paying down the bill at least your home's appreciating a little bit at least you're getting further along in your 30-year mortgage when you build a house and you're an investor or you're a builder and you build a house and then it sits for three months that's not what you're trying to get accomplished so we could see a price drop we could see some opportunities here's the thing we've only had one sale at this number or higher in Montecito Heights the entire year, we had a sale for just over 2 million 
for a house that was listed at 1.399. That is 43% over list price. Don't do that. That is a crazy move. This has to be the absolute home of your dreams and no disrespect to Montecito Heights, but to pay 43% over list price for any home is absolutely ridiculous. You're gonna be underwater on that loan for a very long time. I hope it was a cash offer and somebody who is so financially liquid that they're not worried about the little basis points that they're gonna lose. But if something goes awry, you are gonna be down on that loan for a very long time, 43%. National average in Los Angeles over the past 40 years is 6.7% appreciation. So you're talking about seven years before you break even if it was correctly priced. I'm not a fan. I wouldn't do it. Hope you enjoyed the video. We do this every single month for all the neighborhoods on the east side. Silver Lake, Echo Park, Mount Washington, Atwater Village, Eagle Rock, Lincoln Heights, El Sereno. The works. We also do a ton of other great content that's valuable to homeowners. We got school reports, attractions, restaurants. We also do some celebrity houses and some other fun stuff. So like and subscribe to the channel if you are so inclined. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day. Be kind. Yeah.